good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video today, ladies and gentlemen. We are back again with another tier list video for you guys. As you guys can see here, we're back on tierlist.com. But today, we are doing my favorite wrestler of all time. His birthday was a few days ago on the 23rd, about five days ago. So I figure, why not do better? He's got so many elite figures. John Cena, none other than the GOAT himself. So today, guys, we're going to be breaking it down. As you guys can see, I plugged, I think I got every single John Cena elite figure plugged into the tier list list.com right here as you guys know we have the tier list as we see them on the left side you got go buy it good figure meh barely acceptable and garbage so what we have is go buy it is obviously the best of the best it's like you know what i recommend you to go buy it right this instant uh good figures it's a solid football figure you know everything like that i would put dece right here that's what meh means it's like yeah it's not it's not bad it's not great it's not good it's just you know it's dece and then you have barely acceptable which is obviously just a good lord it could have been garbage and then you have just the worst of the worst but we do have all the figures here i think there's 30 30 total which is kind of insane you don't you don't really realize how many you got I know everybody knows there's a ton of John Cena's but until you see them all and you write them all down it's it's an absolute S ton Brad so what we're gonna do guys is we're gonna dive right into this thing I'm ready to go I got all my stuff ready to go and let's just go ahead and get started with it I guess we can start off with the first figure down here we're gonna start off with the Wrestlemania 34 elite and I think this one is pretty good I actually like this figure a lot and I'm going to put it in the good figure tier. I love the WrestleMania 23 attire. One thing I will say is that the armbands and the hat are not accurate to the colors. I feel like the colors are very plain and cartoony. I feel like they could have done a lot better on the colors. Like it's missing some details and stuff. But the moment and, you know, uh, the head sculpt's good. I like that we're finally getting some, you know, uh, camo green, army green pants on that figure so I really like that about it so I am going to put it in the good figure uh, let's move on to the ultimate edition now, I am cheating a little bit here because it is ultimate edition it's not an elite figure but I love that figure a lot and we don't even have it yet but I can tell it's going to be god tier you know it's an ultimate edition figure a lot of the ultimate editions are god tier so I think we have to put it in the go buy it category definitely go pre-order it I think you can pre-order it at ringside collectibles wrestlingfigures.com use promo code MDTOYS so you save yourself some money and I gotta go with the go buy it right there top if you guys also notice i put pink as the go buy it because you guys know mdt's got the pink and then you got the blue down here as well probably should put yellow on meh but i went with the green so we're gonna move on guys let's go with the toys r us exclusive john cena which is the debut figure obviously the ruthless aggression debut figure it also came with the spinner championship and the u.s spinner championship and i think this is a pretty uh, it's very difficult. I think it's a good figure. I'm going to go with good figure. You got some good accessories in there. It's a very unique moment. I like the head sculpt for the young John Cena. And for the time, it was just a really cool Toys R Us exclusive release. So I am going to go good figure on that one. Let's go to the Ghostbusters Elite. Now, this is very interesting because, you know, I'm not a Ghostbusters fan. I think it's unique. You know, it's interesting. Um, but with everything going on, I think I'm going to put... I don't know if... It, for me, personally, it's going to be on meh or barely acceptable... I think I'm going to go meh simply because I like the shoes and I like the uh, the uniqueness of it. I also like the shorts color is really nice. If you didn't like the Ghostbusters arms or the accessories, you could easily switch it out and make it a cool attire like we did with the Elite 40 Cena. So I, I like that a lot. And because it's so weird like, and I'm not a Ghostbusters fan, I'm not going to put good figure. I'm going to put meh just because of the Ghostbusters elements and uh, that's just where I'm going to put it for now. So the again, these rankings could change and if I have a figure just ahead of that, I think that the figure to the left of whichever one is slightly better than that one. So that can give you guys a little bit of a uh, measurement system on how we're ranking these things. But let's move on to the next figure. Let's go with the Fan Central Elite. This is the Fan Central Kmart exclusive figure, which was pretty much the elite, uh, the best of pay-per-view elite John Cena for the Build-A-Figure, Michael Cole. But it had a red Raw t-shirt for the draft, and then it had the, uh, you know, the Cena uh, hustle loyalty respect hands or the okay symbol or whatever you want to call this that is what that is right there and I think that's pretty cool um, I think that it is a solid figure. I don't know if it's a good figure. Is it a good figure? I like the signature hands there. Woo! Uh, you know what? I'm uh, I'm going to go meh for now. I could change it, but I'm going to go for meh for now. Just because it's a re-release, um, I do like the, you know, the hands. I like the raw t-shirt, but I think it's meh. I think it's a little bit better than the Ghostbusters Elite. Actually... You know what, Brad? I'm going to I'm gonna go down one. I'm going to go down one. It is a re-release of a figure, so I am going to go down one. 
And I can't remember if that one came first or the build a figure. If somebody can let me know which one came first, was it the build a figure Michael Cole or the uh, the Fan Central Kmart exclusive one? Let me know down in the comment section below. But either or, they're both. I mean, they're technically re-releases. I think that one came second, so we'll just roll with that. Next, guys, is the WrestleMania 36. WrestleMania 36. What is it? Was it WrestleMania? 30? No, we just passed WrestleMania 36. It's the Elite 76 figure, which does have his Super Showdown armbands and the you know the navy blue attire with the Yankees jersey and everything. I think it's a go buy it. I really like that figure a lot. I really like the head sculpt on it. I like the shorts, long color that we got. I like the arms. I like the jersey interchangeable. I, I don't know. I just really like the figure for now, and I am going to say go buy it. I don't know if that's because it's on pre-order and it's the newest one, but I am going to go with go buy it for now, and we'll just kind of see about that. But uh, let's move on to the Elite 71 figure. This one is pretty much the Elite 64, but with a new head sculpt. And this is where it's going to get difficult because I kind of feel like it's a meh figure. I feel like it's a meh figure because it is a re-release, but it is a new head sculpt. So actually, I'm going to I'm gonna put it above the, uh, the little Kmart Fan Central figure just because I think since it's a re-release and it's not as good as its counterpart, which is right here, the Elite 64 Cena. This, the Elite 64 Cena is a good figure. It's the first figure that we had that had, you know, interchangeable you can't see me hands, which is a really big deal for me. So actually, I'm going to put that a little bit above the WrestleMania 23 just because it's the first time we got the lime green attire and it was the first time that we got the you can't see me hands and the Elite 64 set as a whole was a banger and uh, I, I really like that figure a lot. So I'm going to go good figure for that one and it is going to be above the Elite 71 which uh, you can't even put the hat on so I am going to put meh on that one. Actually, you know what? I'm going barely acceptable on that shit because it is barely acceptable because of the new head sculpt. And, uh, yeah, I think that's a much better ranking. I apologize for that. That's barely acceptable in my personal opinion. Uh, let's move on to Elite 60. We have the Elite 60 Cena up next, which is a re-release of the Elite 54, but it does have the orange shirt instead of the blue shirt. And I'm gonna go, uh, ooh, this is tough for me. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with, uh, Barely Acceptable again. I'm gonna go Barely Acceptable again because it's just a new t-shirt, which is nice because, you know, it is a little bit differently and I'm a big Cena guy. You guys may have this in the garbage. I'm gonna go with Barely Acceptable, but I am gonna put the Elite 54 Cena in the good figure, and I'm gonna put it above the debut figure because I really like the khaki pants mold. I really like this Florida esque attire where it's the orange and blue it's got the florida color scheme on the t-shirt it had the florida gators font on it pretty much uh the the gators font that was on their florida gators helmet uh it's the same font as that and i really like the attire and i like the elite 54 cena so i am going to go with that one if we're moving on to elite 50 this one is uh very uh this this figure always pissed me off and i don't know if i want to put it on barely acceptable or not i really don't know if i want to put it on i think i'm going to put it in the garbage i'm going to put it in the garbage and the reason I'm putting it in the garbage is because he never wore that t-shirt design with the circle with the black shorts. And that really bothered me. I remember telling Brad about it a long time ago when it first released. Is that uh, that figure always pissed me off because the, the shirt that he wore there with the circle is the is the change that they made. When he first returned to TV, it was a rectangle, and then I think they got in trouble with Pap's Blue Ribbon, and they had to change it to the circle, and he never looked like that on television, and that always really bothered me about the figure, so I'm going to put it in the garbage there. I, I actually, ah, it's very difficult. I kind of want to put it on meh. I kind of want to put it on barely acceptable, but at the same time, I don't know if I can do that, so I think I'm going to put it in the garb. Yeah, I'm just going to go based off of my own personal memories with the figure. I'm going to put it on garbage. Next up, guys, we do have the Elite 46 Cena, and I didn't like this figure one bit. I'm going to put it in the garbage. Now, there's a few reasons why I'm looking at it over here to the left. And it had the new arm mold. You guys know where it's like the newer arms. It's like the rotation elbow elite arms instead of the classic basic articulation for the Mattel figures. And I never liked that figure. I'm actually going to put it at the bottom because I did not like that figure one bit. It didn't come with a t-shirt. I didn't like the new arm mold. The shorts had no uh, belt de you know, details on it. It was just solid black all the way through. No belt buckle. No belt. And the shoes, they changed up the green on the shoes. They gave it green laces. And it just, it really bothered me that uh, the colors were changed. Like, the laces are cool, whatever, but I didn't like the, uh, the change in shoe color compared to the other Cena Elites. And I don't know, it just was weird to me. I, I didn't really like it that much. So I did, uh, I, I put that in the garbage and the barbell accessory. It was just to me. So I, I went there. I'm going to go garbage on that one. Moving on to the Elite 40 Cena, guys. Really like this figure. I really like this figure, and it's kind of funny because it's like, well, Brad, you just put that one in the garbage 
for not having a t-shirt. This one doesn't have a t-shirt. No, it doesn't, but it has the United States Championship, and uh, it's just a great attire. And I love the black shorts with the white belt. Um, it actually had the hustle, loyalty, respect deco on the butt of the, or on, on the butt, on the belt, on the shorts. The belt of the shorts did have the hustle, loyalty, respect on it. I love the teal colorway of it. I love the U.S. Championship. I love the head sculpt on the Elite 40 Cena. It's one of the better head sculpts in my personal opinion, so I love it. I'm going to put it in good figure, and we're just going to have to build a bridge. And we go up next, guys. We do have the Elite 37 Cena, and I am going to put it in the good figure. It is better than that one, and actually, I think it's better than that one. I don't think it's better than the Elite 40, even though you do have a great attire. You do have the camo shorts, which looks sick. Um, you get the hat, you get the shirt, you get everything involved with it. The only thing that deducts football points for me is the head sculpt. I do not like that pissed off looking head sculpt. It really is one of his worst head sculpts for me. So I am going to change that. But uh, the rest of it is uh, pretty nice. I do like it a lot, so I am going to put that in good figure. Let's move on to the Elite 34 Cena. The Elite 34 Cena is going to be going in the meh category. I really like that we get the shirt and the and the shorts and everything. I like the camel, but the head sculpt's still not good. And I wasn't a big fan of the lime green attire, even though it's a solid figure. I'm just not big on the head. You know what? Nah, I'm going to go good figure. I'm going good figure because I do like the camo shorts. I just don't like the head sculpt again, so I am going to be deducting a little bit of points there and it's going to be going under good figure next up we do have the elite 28 cena i think this is the elite 28 cena this one's garbage for me i i don't like it it's super plain the lime green you know and and the, the shorts are very bleh uh just not a good figure it comes with a mic i wasn't big on the head sculpt either and uh, i'm gonna put that one in the garbage just because I'm not big on it. And now that I'm looking at this some more, I think I do want to move this one up to Barely Acceptable. You did get the cloth shirt. You could easily switch it on the shorts. And uh, I don't know. I am going to switch that up to Barely Acceptable there. So we have three different figures in the Barely Acceptable that have their t-shirts, which is kind of crazy. But let's move on to the Elite 23. The Elite 23 doesn't have a great head sculpt, but uh, it does include the shirt. And I like the khaki shorts, man. The khaki shorts are super fire. Uh, I like the attire with it. I like everything going on with it. Elite 23 Cena is a good figure. He also had the black and red shoes compared to the rest. And I think that is something that we would need to note on that one. So I do want to put the Elite 23 figure in the good figure category. We're moving on, ladies and gentlemen. We have, is it the Elite 20? I think the, it's the Elite 20 figure. Uh, yeah, I think it is the Elite 20. Okay, so we have the Elite 20. I think it's a solid figure, but it's not the greatest. I'm going to go meh. Um, you do get the money in the bank. You get a ladder. You got everything except the shirt. So I am going to go meh on that one. I do like the attire with the green, that 2012 green attire. And you do get the money in the bank briefcase. Even though it's oversized and the logo isn't great and everything, I still like the figure overall. Um, this one's really good. I think this is a really good John Cena figure right here. And I am going to put this one in the go buy it. The Elite 17 John Cena is, is a very good beast. I'm going to put that one all the way up there. Great head sculpt. The camo shorts are god tier. Actually, now that I'm looking at it, the Elite 40 head sculpt is uh, a reissue, but it's still a really good figure here with the Elite 17 Cena. Those shorts are great. The armbands are great. The shirt's great. The hat's great. The shoes had more detail than it usually had, and that Rise Above Hate Cena is one of his best of figures, if not the best, and I really like it a lot. That one right there is god tier. I really appreciate that figure, and I think this one has to go up there as well. We have the Elite 14 Cena, which is really strong as well. It's the, uh, the red attire. And he does have the longer jorts in the light colorway. He had more details on the shoes again. I love the head sculpt on that one. So Elite 14 Cena is a really good one. You should go definitely get that one if you have not. The only problem is, is those longer leg molds are trash. And the ankles can get just devastated. But overall, really strong figure right there. The Elite 11 Cena I think is a good figure. It's not perfect. It does have all the details. Those shirts used to be really trashy. Before they change materials, they get really loose. Like the freaking thread in them would get really loose and they'd chip off. They'd chip off. You know what I'm saying. Like the strings would fall out. They get really flared and really worn looking. Um, but overall, it's got a good head sculpt. I like the color scheme of the attire and stuff. The Elite 7 is meh. I never really uh, liked it. The head sculpt's kind of eh. Uh, it has that same shirt problem as the Elite 11. I like the Elite 11 a little bit better on it. And that brings us to the Elite 3 Cena, where I think it's a good figure. It's a little bit less 
than the purple one, I think, just because the head sculpt is that pissed off head sculpt, but it was the first one. It does have white shoes. Ah, uh, I like that attire better than that one, though, I think, so I'm gonna go there. I think that's what I like about it. I'm gonna go there for the Elite 3, but, you know, we're moving on to the Decades of Dominance Elite, and this one is a little bit, ah, uh, I don't really know what to think about this one. You know, we don't have it yet. It's kind of plain. It's kind of Jane, but I think, I don't know if I want to put it in good figure or meh. I feel like I want to go meh just because, um... Hmm, this one's difficult for me. I don't know what I want to do here. I kind of want to go meh. I think I'm going to go meh. I'm going to go meh for now, even though I do want the figure and I am going to purchase it. Um, but it does have shoe detail. I, You know what? I'm going to go over here and I'm going to put it here for now. A little bit better than the debut figure. You know, it's it's a little bit better there. It's not it's not the greatest. It's it's a little bit. I do like the jeans color. I like the shoe details. I like the, the accessories we get. He does have black plain wristbands, though. I don't know. We'll just have to see about that. The defining moment Cena is meh to me, but I do like it though. You know what? I'm going to put it in front of the debut figure again. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put it over this one. I think it's better than that one. And actually, it's going to be better than the Elite 11. It's, it's kind of difficult, man. When you process it, I'm trying to think of all the details. It does have the word life underwear that you can see from the, the, de the decal on the waist. You get the word life bands. You get the word life bands on the arms. Uh, you get the nux, you get the freaking visor. I mean, yeah, it's pretty solid. I don't like the head sculpt on it, but I still think overall it's pretty good. It does have a problem. You can either get a loose waist, you can get the loose ankles, so there are some, you know, some problems that you could have with the figure, but overall I think it does bang pretty good, so that is a good thing about that figure. Coming into our last five John Cena rankings, guys, we are coming up at the end here. This one is one of my favorites of all time, and I gotta put it up here. It's probably my number one Cena. It's very close, if not the top. But the Defining Moment Cena, the, the first ever Defining Moment Cena, is just ridiculous. It's from the 2005 Draft Lottery. You came with the WWE Championship. You got the U.S. Spinner Championship. You got the Chain Gang freaking chain. You got the dog tags. You had his Spirit of St. Louis jersey. You had the white undershirt. You had the smiling head sculpt. You had the Chain Gang armbands. You had the black long shorts. You had detailed shoes on that one. You got the Chain Gang hat ton of accessories with that. It is just a banger. You get it in classic packaging. Great nostalgia pop. It's actually one of the first Mattel WWE figures that I ever purchased. And while it's not like, a you know, one of my fond memories, like, yeah, I remember it and everything like that. Um, it's not necessarily a great defining moment or anything, but just uh, the embodiment of it and everything, it just takes me back to a kid and everything. So I think it's great. I think it's a great figure and you should definitely buy it if you have never owned it in the past. But we're coming up on our last four here, and uh, I think our Go Buy It section is God tier right now when I'm looking at it. I think it's perfect. I, I think you could move some of these up there if you want, but for now, uh, we're moving on to our final four. Guys, this one's really good. I really like this one a lot. I got to put it in the Go Buy It. I think it's better than the Elite 76 right now. That is the Build-A-Figure. Which one was that? I can't remember. I, I can't remember the Build-A-Figure series it was. But nonetheless, you have the Build-A-Figure with the 2012 gear in the green. The shorts color on that figure was God tier. You had black and white shoes. You had the full hat, armband, t-shirt combination. And it was just a great figure, man. You get everything fully gone. It's got the Elite 40 head sculpt on it. It's just a really strong figure overall, man. I mean, that's all you can say. It looks great in packaging, too, so it's just one of those figures. Um, next up, we have the Build-A-Figure Kane, I think. And this one is just garbage again. It's just a re-release again, and it's just meh, man. I just, I don't know what it is. It's just garbage to me. I do not like it. Um, it's, I don't know, it's just, it's definitely his worst Build-A-Figure to me, and, uh, I think it goes in the garbage, it's just not good to me. Uh, I don't know what it was about that 2014 lime green gear, but I didn't like it, and I still don't like it, and I don't like that figure, and I'm putting it in the garbage, okay? So, that's what we're going with that. Next up, we have another Best of Pay-Per-View Build-A-Figure with the WWE Championship, and this one's a good figure, I think. I'm gonna put it over these two. Actually, I'm gonna move it all the way up here. I think it is better than these. Um, it does have a t-shirt, though, so I'm going to go right here. You know, it came with the WWE Championship. You had the khaki shorts. Um, it was uh, it was what it was. You got the hat and everything like that. No t-shirt, but we did get it with the Elite 23, which I think was released before that figure. So um, it is, uh, it's pretty solid. I like it, and I think it is a little bit better than these. I love the short shorts molds. Like, man, these short shorts molds are better than the longer shorts, even though I do have some longer shorts ones up here. Uh, the shorter shorts are definitely god tier. Like, they just are way better for posing and stuff like that and standing up 
And that leads us into our last figure, which is the best of pay-per-view build a figure. I think it, I can't remember which one it was again. I, I am having very trouble. Uh, I know they're build a figures, but I cannot remember which one. And this one is our last one, which is pretty much a, uh, either the first version or the re-release of this, uh, draft figure right here. And, uh, I think I'm gonna put it in the mech category. I just didn't like the red shirt with the dark navy pants with the white shoes combination for the figure. And I feel like those red shirts kind of fit the figure kind of small compared to this one right here, which I think what they did is on the Elite 14 Cena, I think they put a shorter arm mold on it instead of the longer arm mold. I could be wrong about this, but I'm pretty sure that's where the issue comes in. And the shirt fits the Elite 14 better than it did the Best of Pay-Per-View in the Fan Central. I could be wrong about that, but if I'm if my memory serves me correctly, that is what was going on. But that is our complete ranking tier list of every John Cena Elite figure. I had a ton of fun. I love doing these ranking tier lists. They are very difficult though. Like I gotta be honest with you, getting these correctly and trying to get them in the right order that I like and then trying to figure everything out. I think this is pretty accurate. You know, you could probably switch a couple around here and there. I don't think it's too far outside the box. I do agree with these garbage ones. This one could go here. The re-releases are just, you know, barely acceptable sometimes. Uh, you know, everything like that. But these down here, I do agree with. You know, they're pretty garbage. The mess are pretty, you know, they're pretty meh. You know, I don't really find anything intriguing about them. I think the good figures are pretty accurate. Uh, you get a ton of accessories or they have really good head sculpts with them, which is always nice. And then the go buy -its are the go buy -its, man. I really agree with this up here. I think this is my complete ranking. Again, if you want to do this, I think my Seth Rollins one worked out in the past. If you guys had any issues with that, uh, let me know down in the comment section. I tried to fix it, and this tier list, uh, this whole website's kind of crazy sometimes. It, like, has glitches and, like, won't load sometimes, so I don't know, but... Hopefully everything works out. But anyways, guys, I'm getting the hell out of here. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. Let me know who I should rank down in the comment section below. Would you like to see The Undertaker, AJ Styles, with Rey Mysterio? I mean, we, we got a lot of guys we can go through. Let me know down in the comment section. I wanted to do John Cena before we moved on to anyone else. So we've done Rollins. We've done Cena. Let me know down in the comment section below. Undertaker, Balor, Styles, I don't know. But I'm getting the hell out of here, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.